come on, break, break, oh, wait, I already did that joke. Anyway, hey guys, Trace here, and today we're going to be shoving some rocks. We're back on Poco Poco Isle to get this. 500 coins, which is nice, um, you know, right now I have about 600, which seems pretty good. We still have two more moves to buy, which cost a total of, I guess, 350 coins. So, you know, again, doesn't seem like we're doing too bad. The ultimate thing we're going for is somewhere around 49,000 <laughs> coins. So we still have a ways to go there. Um, let's, oops, let's see what this says just for kicks. Nine life bottles. Uh huh. Okay, well that's good to know. Alright, um, we're going to make one more stop and then we're going to go to Haya Haya. So I'll see y'all at the next stop. And we are back. Since everyone seemed to be enjoying the Master's uh, interactions with other characters, I thought we would stay at the end for one night. Because this inn has a reputation for inducing wondrous dreams. Can I afford such a luxury? Well, I did just spend a hundred coins learning how to shove rocks. So I'll go out on a limb here and say that yes, I can. Well, you'll probably see me in the morning, unless I run out without paying. Oh, wait. Ha! <laughs> oh, wrong button. Wrong button. How you do me wrong. Yes, 605 coins. I collected a few on the way back. I'm gonna get my button mapping down at some point. <laughs> my weary head will go get rested, and we have a dream. Oh, Master Higgins looks so adorable sleeping there. The narration of this game is priceless. I wonder if he could actually hear all three of those question marks. Use the ice to break the floor. Well, that's handy. Ice. Uh, that's, that's actually kind of a decent hand. That's actually the most specific hint I've ever gotten in a video game. Okay, okay, don't be impatient. What? I'm sorry, I must have read that wrong. Did she- was she complaining about being kidnapped because she was missing? Never mind. Let's get to Haya Haya. I'll see y'all there. And we're back, I just thought I'd show you exactly how to get into Haya Haya. And now we are here. And I'm still having an aneurysm over Tina missing her soaps. Anyway, to get into Haya Haya, we have to wake up a giant beast. <laughs> this is a fun scene. The ice giant cometh, and breaketh openeth the dooreth. Thanketh you, eth. Sorry, I got a lift there. And with that, we can now enter Haya Haya proper. Haya Haya Haya. And we have to shove to be able to get in. The uh, These bunny rabbits are kind of classic enemies to the Adventure Island series, but no one really cares. Um, I think I pointed this out at the end of the last video, but it must really suck for Mr. Higgins here. It's uh, probably very cold there, what with the snow. I assume that's what that is. I wouldn't really know. Again, from Florida. We don't get that white powdery junk down here. So, if you tried to go further in the level, I think there's some star blocks blocking our way, or sun blocks, I'm sorry. If you tried to go much further in the level, you would find your path blocked by a large ice pillar, which we can't get through, except for the fire sword. Now hopefully, the fire sword will actually live up to its name, more so than the silver sword. Works well against ice. We'll see if it does what it says on the tin. And it does. It's uh takes out all these ice enemies in one shot. And let's just break into Haya Haya. I love the little uh, caveman looking enemies. Watch out for fallen spikes and flying penguins. I thought the whole shtick with penguins was that they couldn't fly, but what do I know? A frozen vine, now that I think about it, must really be painful to climb up. 
and I'm not playing any better today. But Haya Haya is where the game starts to get a little bit more complicated. I won't read this just for kicks. Probably won't get too far in here today. A casino on one of the islands. Yeah, that's that's where we have to spend that absorbent sum of money. Exorbitant, not absorbent. <laughs> what am I doing? Have a ball. Thank you. Sign. Or cosine, as the case may be. Oh, working on math too much. How I love you. Um. <laughs> Hi, Walrus. Hi, Dracula. Um, the big thing in this level, is, as far as projectiles go, obviously, is snowballs. And here in a little bit, we're going to get our first shield, the fire shield, which will let us um, absorb those, which is kind of cool. It'd be a lot cooler if more than one enemy used them. But actually, I think you can use it on the boss, so never mind that nonsense. Now, I think it's just a sign or something up here, but I figured I'd come up here anyway. For the hint... Unless the switch is turned on. Oh! As long as I keep my shirt off, that switch will have no choice but to be turned on. But... Eh. Switch is gonna be finicky. I don't really know where I was going with that, per se. It kind of... I lost track of that after the shirt taking off thing. Uh, we can get up there once we have the up jab, which is the last of the three cool moves we can get through purchasing. I'm, I'm inclined to think that door actually has something cool on it, so... Cooler than ice, anyway. So we're gonna run this over. This is really, like, some of the best, um, ice level music in a Super Nintendo game. The only game I can think of that has better is the very obscure game Dragon View. Oh, hot spring that's not melting the ice. I don't know, ice music... I saw this topic on Game FAQs earlier, and I have to agree that ice music in video games tends to be very, very good. Like, Metroid Prime, for example, has some really good ice level music in Pendrano Drifts. Right, with the fire sword we can break the ice. Hmm. I could use a fire sword in real life. For, you know, social ice breaking situations. Anyway, fire armor. Um, works well in the cold. And <laughs> hey, for Master Higgins there, I imagine anything is going to be better than that nothing he was wearing. <laughs> Sentences. English. So, we can push the switch and I believe a vine will come down. Talk about divine intervention. And this is the ice block that was referred to in Tina's little hint. So, tomorrow we are going to have to find a way to deactivate the star blocks. Um, I hope y'all will join me for then. For that, then.